you crave exciting sports takes and news? Fed up with the same old boring voices you hear on the radio? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you just might be a tea bloomaholic. Lucky for you, it's time for another episode of the Tea Bloom Talk Show, the number one sports podcast in the world. Settle in, my Tea Bloomanites, because another episode starts right now. Live from Tea Bloom headquarters, here's your host, Tea Bloom. Hey, what's going on, Nation? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're getting slimy, boys. We're getting crazy today. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, man. Sounds interesting. Can you see me? Can you hear me, Sir Charles? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Very, very low. Very low, huh? What about now? Still the same. Still low. That's interesting. I don't know. Let me see what's going on here. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. See, I was ready. And then, you know, technical difficulties. And then. Oh, I got uh, it now. We're back, bud. Oh, we're, we're back. back. We're here? All right. Like there I we go. said, baby, right. welcome back to the T Bloom Talk Show. We're getting a little crazy today. Yeah. Now, look, scares me. Now look in the eyes. It's a new look, man. We need we need to pull in the viewership. I'm going for tapping Something into a different fresh. audience today. Okay, a little yeah. little demonic football podcast, huh? Cue the Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oktoberfest. Check this out. Don't make me do it. Son of a bitch. I'll do the whole podcast like this, and I won't even care. Oh my gosh! Get in there. Get in there. It's a tough one to pull off, but once you where's get... the makeup and hair? Come on, can you guys get in the shot? Fix this real quick. Here we go, Fucking guys. They think it starts, they can just leave. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Welcome to the T Bloom Talk Show. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do All it like right. that today. There you go. Fuck it. I like how I split in there. You got the part now. That's fucking sweet. Nice. I'm not even gonna look. I'm yep. just gonna let it flow. There How we go. doing, Sir Charles? How how's it going? You eating some food over there? What are you eating? Tell us. Oh uh, yeah, got got a little pulled pork nachos going on. You know, a little leftover. Throw it together real quick. Oh, Fucking shit. Tigers lost. I got sad, so made some food real quick. You, you have know? some money on the tea, the tea grays? No, I just fucking don't. Yeah, I just I don't know. I like the underdogs, man. Like, and it's it's not looking like a lot of underdogs are winning right now. I got the guards, Yanks. Hard Dodgers. my French, but who did the Tigers play today? Guardians. Guardians. Yeah. Yeah. I, I fell out of baseball a long time ago. Understood. Understood. But yeah, no, if we have a Yankees Dodgers World Series, I'm going to throw up, but that's neither here nor there. The Niners won on fucking Thursday. Got a little crazy, but good game. Um, I like to see it. You know, Niners turning the round. Started off rough, but we're looking better. And the Seahawks are they're the Seahawks. So that's nice to see. Yeah. You guys came in. You did what I thought you would do. That's the reason yeah. I put that money on it. Understood. And you guys, yeah, you guys did what you needed to do, and you proved a little bit of something after the Seahawks kind of rallied back there. You proved that, hey, Brock doesn't just sit on a lead and hold it. He can go out and continue to put it on a team until they just have no more time to even score. So that was good to see that. Absolutely. You know, the, I've noticed the Brock hate's gotten quiet. You know, last year this time it was real loud. This year there's not a lot of it, you know, because he's just playing good football. And if you yeah. start, it just, you sound stupid now. He's a good quarterback at this point. Just leave it alone. But I actually, well, I took this Niner spread and Brock for two touchdowns myself. So yeah, it was a nice little. Well, I will say Brock wagon. Purdy, Brock Purdy is, is, is really no better than a, I'm willing, I'm willing to go out and say Brock Purdy is no better. I'm going to say it, Vince Young. Then Vince Young. I think if you put a modern day Vince Young into that oh, okay. 49ers well, day system, you're you're getting probably even better quarterback play. Modern day, I would say. Yeah, Vince Young obviously he had a couple but burned out real fast there. But yeah, nowadays I think that would be a different story. You're going to look me in my eyes and tell me I'm wrong. I can only see one eye, but uh, yeah, I'll look you in your eye and say, I don't think Vince Young 
quite has like the, I think Brock Purdy understands the game very well. <laughs> And I don't think that Vince Young quite ever got to that point, which is why he kind of burned out of the NFL when that athleticism slipped. I would rather have Happens. Josh Johnson as my quarterback than Brock Purdy. Oh, God. Okay. You're, you're coming from the guy with Justin Fields as a quarterback. So we know that we can't take wow. that, you know, take that with a grain of salt. You're telling Ooh. me Justin Fields hasn't been playing top five He's, QB? I don't know about that, but he's he's looked a lot better than I thought he was going to. I still think you guys got to give Russell a shot. Jesus. No, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Push all that ball. last five minutes, that's all for that's all just to throw it up on YouTube maybe later. Maybe get a couple. This guy's are fucking retard comments or something. <laughs> they go viral, you know, with the hair and hey, everything. I'm just I, kidding, know. man. I, I personally, I think, yeah, Brock is is definitely totally proven himself. Um, He will always have that over his head that he's playing for the Niners with, uh, you know, yeah. that system. But, I mean, what can you do? He's He's outperformed. Fucking Trey Lance, that's for sure, and he was supposed to be <laughs> God. Oh, that was yeah. Uh, phew, God, what a what a miss. But um, swing and a fucking miss there. Bum. Well, I think I think Dak's gonna get hurt. I think we're gonna see some Trey Lance this year. There, I said it. I wouldn't but hate to see me, it, dude. I, but are you gonna see Cooper Rush though? Because I still think you might see Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush, you've already seen Cooper Rush, dude. But listen to the name, Cooper. You're not gonna. Do you think Jerry Jones is gonna start Cooper Rush? Just for name name power alone, Dude, fucking I, Cooper. I, Dak, I, I agree Dak with and that. Cooper. Yeah, I will agree with a that. Jerry Jones sure. move for sure. I mean, did you see how he? Did, did you see how he he comes in on a helicopter? I didn't. Oh man, Dude, he's really he, just in the middle of about him. practice outside. He fucking flies in on a helicopter, lands like like he he's he's got no other option. Like, hey, I got to make it to practice. <laughs> I got to take the copter. You know what they don't show? It took off from the top of the building right over there out of view. He just wanted to land on the field for the fucking shot. What a fucking... That's what they don't bitch. show. There, that's actually no pilot, licensed pilot there. He can only fly it between the building and the field. That's the only place that... Wow. Goes. It's fucking breaking news. That's some fucking yeah. GTA shit. G yeah. Jerry Jones is, is, uh, is in the middle of a GTA... Gameplay right now, simulation. Yeah, he's doing well. Lands too. on the practice. Fucking a. What a fucking douche. Oh, okay, yeah. let's get to the nitty gritty. The big games this Sunday, tomorrow. You know Ooh. how it is. Start Another Sunday. What are we? A week, week? Is this week five? Week six? Week right. Six, man. We're getting. Fuck, it's getting going by it. fast. It is. It always does. You know. Fuck, man. Okay, let's savor it while we can. Now, everyone, take a. Big deep breath ah. in. Hold that feeling of yes, we still have plenty, plenty more weeks of football. Amen. Beat it in your chest. Savor it. Savor it. Because before you know it, it's wow. gone. It's done. It's true. Okay. So let's season. start it off. The London game, the London yeah. Jaguars and the Chicago <laughs> Bears. Uh I like the spread on this. Have you seen the spread? Chicago. Minus one. a point? Negative one. What is this? Just oh, yeah, fucking... minus point Money five. Money line is Jacksonville is even. So tell me why that makes sense. What the fuck? Anyways. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. They have no idea what's going to happen. But I think that's the London factor, too. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. I'll tell you right I'll... now what's going to happen. Okay. The London Jags, they're going to roll into the stadium. They're going to get they're, out. They're, they're going to they're home. They're going to get warmed they're up. Home. They're going to breathe in the fine London air that they're so the used beans, to having because they've the been beans there year and toast, after year baby. after year. Ooh. Caleb Williams, he's never even been out yeah. the country probably. He doesn't know beans and toast. He's doesn't not know ready. It, doesn't he ain't know waking it. up yeah. to fucking pain. Oh, he's not eating that morning. They're going to be ready. The Jags are going to be ready because they know how to stomach beans and toast. It mm -hmm. makes a difference. You're damn right, and McDonald's it's going to make all the difference on the football field. Absolutely. I'll tell you right now, I'm putting money on the Jags. I don't hate it. I just, if there's one team that is used to playing in London and is like, yeah, we we know the schedule, whatever, it's the Jags. Um, it's Bears Trevor Lawrence. Who knows? That's, uh, yeah, we, yeah, anyways, him. Bears, I mean, DJ Moore is starting to click a little bit with Caleb. I like that. Um I just, the inconsistency. I don't know. I don't know about this Bears team. I'm going to see them in two weeks here fucking play the Commanders. That's going to be a hell of a game, man. I'm really getting excited for that as the season progresses more and more. But, um, ah, I'll, I'll take the Jags, too. I'll take them. Brian Thomas Jr., big game. Burn that good Bears defense. Mm -hmm. Show me something. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to go for the Jags strictly because of they're playing in London. Also, this is a Jags team that I think, yeah, sure, they're one and four, and they're not exactly where they want to be right now at this point in Trevor Lawrence's career. Mm. But this is a team <laughs> uh, who almost beat the Texans, got smashed by the Bills, almost beat the Browns, almost beat the Dolphins. I mean, this is a team who's losing – Um. If you don't look at that Bills game, obviously, this is a team that's not losing by a lot. They've only lost by a touchdown one time, and that was to the Bills when they got blown out. Otherwise, it's been three, four point games. This they're in games, so it's not like they're just yeah. completely out of them. And I think, wow, I just seen myself. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. Okay, I'm loving it. Yeah, this is a team that is capable of winning games, and especially when you go overseas. I think that's gonna play a big factor. Trevor Lawrence. He's did he's been there before. He kind of has a rhythm. You you got to think. And Caleb Williams still a rookie, still trying to find himself in the league. Now he's got to deal with being mm-hmm. in London. He's got to <sighs> talk to people with accents and stuff. It throws him to QB oh, off. Oh, it's bit. gonna be hard. Yeah, you think they call the plays with an English accent? I think they have to by law. That's part, Isn't that part a law? Of the fucking that's probably in the fucking writing when they made this deal. Yeah, mean, what what is there? So. Do they have a, a Declaration of Independence? What do they have? Fucking... Can I watch this with London broadcasters? Hold on, hold on. Have I been watching this with American commentators the whole time? Is there a British option? That would be sweet. If there's ever an NFL team to go to London, Ooh. they better have their own personal London announcers i like it i would think you bring them in okay. anyways but yeah i think trevor lawrence i mean they've been close he finally has the number one receiver i thought ridley was going to be for him next year look at that it's crazy yeah. um i don't know man trevor lawrence is just he's trevor lawrence what do you what are you gonna do not much you can do um no. but yeah I, i'm gonna go jags yeah i'll take the jags too just caleb williams okay i don't trust him Okay, moving on. We got the Cardinals and the Packers. Now, for some reason, well, not, I mean, I think it's a legitimate reason. A big game that I think about whenever I see these two teams play is that year, I want to say 2016, maybe 2017, where the Packer, or the Aaron Rodgers versus Carson Palmer led Cardinals. They played in a playoff game and ended up going to overtime off of a Hail Mary Aaron Rodgers threw, and then Larry Fitzgerald made a big play. It, it was just a, Pretty awesome game in the playoffs. But fast forward, here we are now. We got the Jordan Love uh, Green Bay Packers and Kyler Murray led Arizona Cardinals sitting at two and three after a big win against your Niners, man. What do you think about these Cardinals? Uh, You know, I think they're just, they're the Cardinals. I think Kyler Murray, when he wants to go out there and do what he's capable of, is a very capable quarterback, but he has those games where you're just like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And I still don't know about the play calling necessarily i don't know the run game's going great the passing game seems inconsistent um get mcbride and just funnel the targets to mcbride and marvin harrison jr i don't think it's that hard you know i think you got talent and you just need to get it to him but um i'll tell you right now i'll take the packers that's for sure i don't know about the spread <laughs> it's a little yeah, that's dicey. quite a big gap it's of a, a spread. spread what is a going on there bit. i mean the Fucking Packers with Jordan Love. I mean, shit. I know, but I mean, why is it the fucking the Cardinals just beat the nineties? Yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm not taking the Cardinals spread either, though. Fuck no. Yeah, I, I, sure. I'm gonna go Packers, but I thought it would have been at least a little bit better odds, maybe to put some money on it. I'm not even taking none of that though. No, nothing. No, but yeah, I'll, I'll go Packers. I think that's a safe, safe one. I think the Packers defense. A little bit more, uh, well, actually, Niners defense pretty, pretty decent too. You know, I don't know. Like you said, Kyler Murray just depends on what version we see out of him. Sometimes, yeah, he looks like that perfect college star. Ugh. Sorry, perfect college star that they drafted and uh, was everything that he was supposed to be, that Heisman player. But then other times you're looking at him like, dude, this guy is fucking short. He sucks. He can't throw. <laughs> he can run, but he doesn't run when he needs to. And it just depends on what version. And because of that inconsistency, I'm more certain that the Packers and Jordan Love are going to show up in Lambeau ready to go. I, I agree. You know, I will say Kyler Murray just got that Call of Duty deal. Everyone's been giving him shit for years. Oh, fuck he just me. got a sponsorship. So he's definitely not focused right now. So Packers... Packers for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm rolling Packers. Just the little things, little things, you know? Yeah. Those little nuances you don't really think about. Exactly. Okay. Next up, we got the Indianapolis Colts versus the Tennessee Titans. Ooh. Head coach of the Titans came out and said, Will Levis will start for them. He is not going to uh, 
to bench him, that he's going to let him ride. And then the Colts, you still have Anthony Richardson, who is questionable for this game. I, I think I saw that he's likely to play. Jonathan Taylor's out, but I think Richardson is playing. Okay, well, honestly, if Richardson's playing, I like the Titans' chances more because Joe Flacco is a better quarterback than Anthony Richardson right now. You know who he's also a better quarterback than? Deshaun Watson, but that's that's a whole nother thing. Oh, man, yeah, oh, we can God. get into that for days. Sad, I mean, sad. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Joe Flacco, man, good, hell of a career. You know, you wonder, you should have just, you know, kept him around. and He could have been a great backup in Baltimore this whole time. No you know, shit. I, mean, I don't gets think he hurt every time. back up in Baltimore. I think he I know, But what's he been? So, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I just, I can't bet on, I can't take the Titans with Will Levis at quarterback. I don't, I don't care who you're facing. I don't care if you're at home. I don't care if you're away. I don't care if you're on Mars. That guy's your quarterback. I, I'm going to take the other guys. Yeah. I don't care who's playing quarterback. I'm going to go with the Colts. I'm going to go, you know, oh, fuck, both the uh, Colts are 0-2 on the road. Titans are 0-2 at home. Man, this is just a, <laughs> I would say it's a Colts. shit show. I'll go Colts. Yeah. They're just a more talented team. But uh, actually, you know what? No, fuck, dude. Because the Titans' defense is pretty legit. And it they is. And the running turnovers. game is good, too. I mean, the Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears combo is hitting pretty nice this year. Yeah. It is and doing a good job. If Anthony Richardson does play, he is going to turn the ball over at least once just by default. Now you add and in get a hurt, good defense. But so is Levis. Levis is going to turn it over twice. Yeah. I know. In the worst, give us in a the good worst time, they're going to be up like by two possessions with four yeah. minutes left. He's going to throw two picks. Lose it. Oh, he's going to make a great meme, though. You know, he'll be on the sideline <laughs> again. Like, yeah, what happened? Shut up. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, something's telling me Titans. So I'm going to roll with the Titans, man. I, nope. I just don't trust the Colts. Something's telling me I, I have no interest in watching this game, and I'm I'm going to make sure I miss this one. Absolutely. Will not be yeah. tuning in. <laughs> I don't even think I have any – I got Anthony Richardson on mine, but I'm not even going to start him. Yeah. No Michael you know, Pittman, too. Pick up. Pa- oh, Michael no. Pittman. He practiced yesterday. I So there's the report. He's out multiple weeks. Full practice yesterday. What I was reading about fuck? it earlier, so, so I have no idea if he's playing or not. Kind of weird. That is very weird. Huh. He gets ruled out for multiple weeks and then logs a full practice the next day. We need to investigate. Something's yeah. fishy. I don't like that. Um, okay. So you're going Colts. I'm going Titans. I'm going to take the Colts. Yep. Good. Moving on. We got the Texans versus the Patriots. The 4-1 and one Texans come in to Foxborough, Massachusetts to take on the 1-4 and four New England Patriots. Now, this is a game. That got a little bit more interesting as the week went on. One reason, I don't know, a little guy named Drake May is going to be making the start for the New England Patriots, his first start of his young rookie career. Sir Charles, I ask you this, is this the right move? Uh, I'm terrified for him behind this line, if we're being honest. I mean, um, they just haven't put it together. Jacoby Brissett's gotten his ass kicked every game. So, I mean, that's a rough spot for a rookie, but... But barring that, I don't see why you wouldn't. I mean, this team's obviously not going anywhere. This is no, I mean, I don't know. Even the team, there seems to be conflict within the team a little bit. Ramondre getting benched for Antonio Gibson. That's hilarious. I mean, yeah, yeah, really? Really? That's not a great, I get the, you know, standing by your shit, but players don't like when you're benching the more talented player. You know, that just doesn't sit great in a locker room. That's real Belichick-esque, too. It it is, which... I thought they'd try to get away, you know, kind of yeah. get away from that a little bit. Re- refresh it, it, go a different route. A little something bit. else. I mean, it clearly wasn't working those last few years, but, um, and the Texans, Nico Collins to IR that hurts. The Texans have the receivers to step it up though. Dell Diggs, Hutchinson steps. I mean, they're going to be fine. Dalton yeah. Schultz, Joe yeah. Mixon, I think's finally back. That's good news for the Texans too. Um, they're going to kill him. The Patriots run. He's been terrible. So, uh, Texans, what's the spread on this one? Ooh, seven and a half. Yeah. Plus odds. I might take it. Though. I'm thinking about it. Too, I was going to say, I'm I might take that. It too. <laughs> oh, oh man. You got to think that the Texans against a are rookie gonna quarterback win. too. I mean, D'Amico Ryan scheming up against a rookie quarterback. I like that. The um, only thing I'm worried about though, is because the Patriots did put in Drake may. And now it's almost like a refresh for the season. Like, okay. Now the season starts here. Maybe New England, you know, they get that boost and like the whole team is surrounded. Like, okay, now we are a full team. We got to put it on display and it starts now by beating the Texans. We got our home game. 
I can see it being a closer game uh, than what people may be anticipating. Yeah, it's, I just I don't know. I like the Texans team. I think I think the Texans team starts to click early. And I, I think Drake may be good, but I still think he struggles in this game. I think we get at least one turnover, probably two from the rookie quarterback making his first start against a good head coach and a good defense. I think the Texans I'll, t I'm t I'll take the Texans by 10. What the hell? I'm going to go New England Patriots 24 to 22. Ooh, okay. That's Look at right. that. They got a plus 260 money line, too. Look at that. I'll throw a dollar on it, maybe. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to go Patriots, though. Something's telling me the Patriots, they're going to fucking rally behind Drake May. Their defense, they're not, surely they're not like top five in the league, but they're a stingy defense nonetheless. Texans, as well as they they are and as good as they are and how as talented as they are, they haven't really been. So last year, when the Texans were at their peak, they haven't reached that peak yet. They're still no. kind of stuttering and scuttering a little bit um, in their games. Let's look at let's look at who who they beat. So they beat the Colts by four or two. They barely beat the Bears. They got whooped by the Vikings. Barely beat the Jags and then barely beat the Bills. So it's not like they are this this Texans team that we saw last year. This juggernaut team putting up points. At least I don't get that sense out of them quite yet. At least, and I think I the get Patriots. that. Like I said, I think there's going to be a big rally behind Drake May. Everyone's going to be playing like it's a playoff game because they're one and four. I mean, if you lose this one, then you got to start weighing your options in terms of draft stock and all that. So I think this can yeah. be a big game. Give me the Patriots at home to beat the Texans. Like I said, All 20, right. 24, 22. I think Joe Mixon fits his Texans offense really well and getting him back, especially against this terrible run defense. Joe Mixon's a whore. Think? I know you don't like Joe Mixon. Never have. But he's one of those guys that, you know, you, ne you don't ever think of him as being a good running back. I mean, you think of him as, all right, he's a good running back. But he puts together those games and it's just like, God damn it. Like the Al Alvin Kamara esque, where you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Makes no yeah, sense. no shit. Speaking of Alvin Kamara, we're we'll on to the Buccaneers versus the Saints. Oh. Here's what's spectacular about this. We didn't only have one rookie making his debut this week. We got two. <laughs> NFL rookies making their debut this week. We got the Spencer Rattler led New Orleans Saints going up against the Baker Mayfield Buccaneers. Big God, whoop. Matchup. Give me the rat by 35. Oh my God. There you go. Fucking take the rat. No, you're crazy. You're absolutely <laughs> What a shitty nickname. <laughs> that, I, know the rat. I hope that's his nickname. That needs to stick. Can we get that going? Come on. He's the rat yeah, from now on. Rat. The rat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking okay. Spencer. You know, I hate Spencer Rattler just because all the high school. Just like a lot of the teams reported, just they can't lose that image. He's forever that high school kid to me. This is this, like, cocky. I don't know. You know, uh, maybe he makes it. I'm sure he's learned a lot. Um, life's definitely humbled him a bit. I'll take Baker yeah. Mayfield. You know, Baker Mayfield versus Spencer Rattler. Six years ago, you talk about that. You're like, oh, my God. I can't Super wait for that Bowl. matchup one day, yeah. bro. That's crazy. He's like the next Baker Mayfield for sure. And just here they are fucking doing it, man. That's God damn. Fucking banging That's it out. Crazy, right? Um, well, yeah, Bucks. Well, you know, well, we don't know. We don't like to comment on their life choices one, or what they do personally. That's not what we're here to talk about. <laughs> okay, if the rat in the Mayfield can <laughs> do their thing, that's none of our business. That'd be weird. That'd be weird, though. But let's get down to it. Where, Breaking where, news. Where are you leaning? <laughs> where, where are you not leaning? What are you going with this? I'll take the bucks. I mean, Baker, Baker over the rat, you know. I'm bake, bake some pies, bake some muffin. What's the rat going to do? He's going to try to eat the muffin, and the baker's going to put the poison out. Poison the rat. Rat's dead. Uh, Baker yeah. wins. That Dude, that's old, a good metaphor. Like it's for the old this boys game. and the rat, you know? Yeah. The rat's going to come out. Yeah, he's going to have a few bites of cheese. He's yep. going to fuck with the, the baker for here and there or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then eventually the baker's going to be like, okay, enough is enough. Yeah. Set out the rat traps, then boom. Yep. Just, you know, going to catch him, you know? Fuck yes. Maybe that's catch him under the heel. Metaphor. Boom. Done. So hmm. taking the baker. Okay. Speaking Maybe of baker, Rattler. Baker, check, check, oh. check these stats for baker. Oh, oh, 1,164 yeah. yards, 
11 TDs and two interceptions. I mean, this guy's playing top five ball right now. He's finally what everyone thought he was going to be. Yeah, it took him and to I'm lead to Cleveland it. to wow, get there. Shocker. And Carolina and, and Los Angeles. And, um, well, Los Angeles, he didn't have a fair. He did have a fair shake, actually. Matthew hey, Stafford went down that, and he had a good shake. And he that one him. game was fucking impressive, damn it. That exactly. was a hell of a game. And then Carolina, I mean, that's a shit swamp. He did the best he could. But then you get him, you get him some talent. You know, you get him a good D, you get him a good structure. He's fucking making it happen right now for the Bucks. He is. I mean, you put Godwin and Evans out there. You got options. You know what I mean? I know he had Odell and fucking uh, Odell's best friend, fucking Jarvis Landry. That's his name. Yeah. But like Godwin and Evans are like bona fide, stamped year after year. Same team. Fuck the target share. They don't care. They're going to go. Don't get give a fuck. Not at all. And um, it just it clicks, man. He fits. They got that attitude. They kind of adopted that Baker attitude, too. I like it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What's up? Except for, you know, that Baker attitude, they blow it every now and then in the big game. Right. But you know, yeah, I mean, it comes fuck, with it. You, at least you, at least you got there. At least you, you got there. The you can't win it if you're not there. You know, exactly. I'm going to go bucks too. I, yeah, I just, I can't really see. Well, I don't know if Rattler comes out and fucking just puts his fucking whole heart into it. Who knows, man? Fuck. But I've already taken a couple upsets already, so I gotta I gotta stay strong. I'm gonna go with my Bucks. We'll, we'll take Baker, but I think Bucks it's gonna be a close it. game. Hmm. Okay, it could be. I mean, hey, the spread's three and a half. They obviously aren't expecting a fucking anything crazy yeah. going on here. Here we go. Okay, let's move right along. Browns versus the yeah. e. the Stankies versus the Wankies. Gross. What do we? I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I really like the Browns spread on this one. Eight. Point five I, points. I, I understand just, they're not very good and they haven't been. But their defense, good. exactly. And and, and the it, end, Jalen Hurts. I mean, a little stinker going, a little stinker action. What's what's up? What's that? It's I over, mean, you know? dude. Jalen, Jalen ain't no stranger to a turnover. He's not. No, four touchdowns, four interceptions so far this year. No, that's not good. You, you look at that's the what Browns, we call I mean, bad. Oh. You know, I don't know. There's not much to like at the Browns. No, Deshaun Watson, I think, ranks as the worst quarterback that has started enough games to qualify in the NFL this year. That's not good. He's what? That's not what you want. He's he's ranks 31st out of 31 quarterbacks that have, like, taken enough snaps or whatever the fucking qualifier is in QBR this year in the NFL. He's at the bottom. So that's not good. No, um, not good at all. It's hard to do. When you're making that much money, and you're that low on the QB, you just, ah, you know, and it's all guaranteed. So what do you do? You think they have Browns are like, do we hire a hitman? Oh fucking kill God. it. I mean, at this point, what do you do? You know, they're working on another scandal. They're paying someone to be like, say he fucking touched you in a massage parlor again. And let's get out of this contract. Well, well, you know, we Breaking might... news. You heard it here first. It's coming. What, what are the Cleveland Browns just going to sell and just get him out of the league? Well, that's what I'm. I mean, he's not. Well, actually, I don't I think, think anyone kind signs of a staple him. now. Yeah, it's like I he mean, can't, he can't have the NFL without the Browns. I, mean, I don't know. They're pretty team. close to Canada. I mean, could you sell them to the CFL? Dude, that'd be would a major. Players, <laughs> Yo, would the players what are they be trading okay organizations? This? We'll take oh the Ontario uh, Saskatchewans. Come on, the fuck down here. Yeah. Welcome to Cleveland. I'm we're moving. We're Cleveland swapping Browns. locations. You guys actually. give me two of your best. We're the Cleveland Saskatchewans now. You can have the fucking Ontario Browns. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, what? we need to start that. I don't know why that doesn't have any traction. Jesus. Sell the Browns to the CFL. Fuck yeah, might as well. Uh, actually, no, you can't. They're just, Like I said, they're too much of a staple now. Every league has to have their, you know, their shitty team. For the NBA, yeah. the fucking uh, Wizards, the fucking I don't know. Fuck, it used to be the Bobcats. Now, what do they this, call themselves? Yeah, uh, the Hornets. The yeah, Hornets. Well, I yep. guess the Hornets not anymore. But every you know every team, every yeah. league has their shit. They all suck. Shit. Yeah. The MLB, suck. the A's, right? You know. Well, that's what happens when your payroll is less than I make a year. It's, yeah. it's hard to put together <laughs> a fucking no complete shit. team. You're fucking like signing five thousand dollars. Like, fuck, you sign this guy for three hundred dollars a season. 
Okay, let's uh go into just the the nitty gritty of the the you know the matchup here. Obviously, the Eagles they got their high point offense coming back after a bye week. Saquon's good. Devontae Smith looks like he might go. He could go. AJ Brown, what's his status? He's still on IR. No, I think he's back, baby. Um, oh, they're I'm locked, loaded, sure. ready to go. Coming oh, yeah, back he's back. Silly. Thank God. I've been missing him. But, yeah, you know, you hate to see it because they do have a Nia Smith on, uh, you know, on IR as well. So, you know, still banged up wide receiver core. But A.J. Brown's back. So I think they'll be okay. It's, Who, you know. Who's – who's uh, we're at – no, he's their rookie. I think he's supposed to come back soon. He's been on IR. But I was we're just at, saying, we're at you know, ten minutes right now, Charles. Are we gonna be able to do ooh. a double take or what's your schedule looking like? We could probably where are we at? How many games we got left? We got ooh, five, six games. Oh yeah, that's tough. Seven. That's tough. Yeah, we could probably do it. We could do a restart probably. Make okay. it happen. If you Make can't, let me to. know and we'll fucking fly through these. I think I think we can. I mean, let's still try to you know keep up a yeah. decent pace, see what we can do. But okay, we we can come back. I think we're both in agreement. The Eagles are going to win this one, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, I might sprinkle on the Cleveland spread plus eight and a half. I do I like, like that, that Cleveland spread. I do, I do, I do. Okay, moving on. We got the Washington Commanders versus the Baltimore Ravens. This is a very, very, very likable spread. You got the Baltimore Ravens minus seven. Are they disrespecting the commanders like that? Uh, you know, maybe a little bit, but I get it. He's still a rookie. Whatever. Still kind of unproven. What I think is the total is 51 and a half. That's fucking nuts. They're expecting a fucking shootout in this one, which. Yeah. Kind of, you know, that sounds fun. Um, Fucking Baltimore is going to be crazy tomorrow. They're at home. God damn it. I hate that. Anyways. Um. Yeah, no, I think it'd be a good one because it's like Lamar Jackson versus what Lamar Jackson, I think, would like to be, which is fucked up because Jay Davis is the rookie. But you're telling me that if Lamar, the, 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 ah, just the way he runs the offense, the decision making, like, I think it's a step above Lamar Jackson's. And I think he's, he develops, he's going to be better than Lamar. I said what I said. I think Lamar Jackson's the worst QB in the league, if you had to oh, ask me. Then it's not hard to – well, then you must agree. Prove me wrong. Show me some film. Show me Nine some Nine touchdowns, stats, one interception, game. highest per completion percentage in the league last year. Um, What else? What else? What else? There's something else. Fuck. But, yeah, I mean, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns, one pick so far is pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's doing pretty good. He's I'm doing I know. Well. But, yeah. No. But, like yeah, I said, this but... is – I think they're disrespecting the commanders a lot right now. By a seven seven touchdown <laughs> spread, the commanders just put it on the Bengals, who the Bengals almost just put it on the put Ravens. On the... Obviously, the Ravens came back, but they barely came back. Could have very easily lost that game. I don't think they're wrong. giving the commanders enough respect. I tell I you think... what, I'd – take the commander's money line at plus 240 i don't hate it dude that's good value i wouldn't be surprised i mean the ravens still still the ravens yeah but i think they really they're in that win now mode like they have to get ahead of some of these games and especially I mean, this is do. a game that they are gonna have to win that they you know coming into the season yeah that, you know oh, that's, a, sure. that's a dub that we gotta oh, we gotta they get marked that, that in sharpie you know yes. they, yeah for sure i agree but yeah, yeah no i mean I'll take the Ravens, but I think this is going to be a very close game, and I don't hate putting some money on Washington plus two forty. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do Washington minus. I'll put minus seven and a half on an alternate spread. That wouldn't be too much. I think the Commanders stay in this one. Ravens yeah. ultimately win it, but I think it's gonna be a good close game and fought all the way through. Should be a fun one for sure. Okay, next one we got the Chargers versus the Broncos, the most boring rivalry ever. Um, Chargers <laughs> Can you call versus... it a rivalry. <laughs> I know what the I mean, fuck. I mean, they're in the same division, but does anyone care when they play? Yeah, they fucking share juice boxes after the games. Right, that's what I'm saying. These guys are like, hey, you suck. We suck. What's up? As of now, what I'm seeing right now, I don't see anything about Justin Herbert not playing. So it looks like he's, he's all back. To go. He's back. Yes, he is. OK, OK. Um, With that being said, I'm going to go Chargers. That's all I need to see right there personally. That's it. Yeah, I don't know what the Broncos are doing. Sean Payton. Broncos are a again. sneaky three and two team. They are, but they have not played like a three and two team. They've gotten some stupid wins, and I think it's been I just they're a game manager at best kind of team. And if they can manage it well enough, they'll get the win if you make enough mistakes. They're on a three game they're... winning streak. They beat the Bucks, Jets, and Raiders. Yeah. But um which one impresses you out of that? I'll, just the the Bucks, Bucks kind of. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll take the Chargers. I think Harbaugh's gonna do just fine. Okay. Going to Yeah, I'm gonna go Chargers. Dobbins gets rolling. Chargers. Yeah. 
spread negative three. I kind of ah, if it was negative two and a half on the Chargers, I'd take it. I might alternate. It's negative that. three, but you can alternate it, people. You can, you don't have to take the line they set, people. You can take an alternate. You Ask set your, your own line. They give you the odds, and you tell them take it. Yes, sir. That's how, how it works. works. That's the only way yeah. I do it. Learn something every day. All right, next game we got the Steelers versus the Raiders. Ooh. Oh boy, talk about injury fucking mania. Steelers defense is banged up, but so is the Las Vegas Raiders. I mean, they got Jacoby Devontae Myers Adams, hamstring. Monte Adams is non existent. Um, Demonte Casey out, Cordero Patterson out, Nick Herberg out. Um, I mean uh, Herberg out. That's a yeah, that's it's good. It's gonna come down to <laughs> It's going to come down to pretty much what team has the best backups in a way. And I think the Pittsburgh Steelers do. I think we're more prepared to play that kind of style of game. And I think we'll, it'll be a sneaky win. Think of like a 7 20. I'll give me a 20 to 17 win. But Ooh. I, I think we'll end up speaking it out. You know what the line is 36 and a half. That's the total. You said give me a thir- 20 to 17. Whoo. Yeah. Right it's, there. You know, I think your guys' backup quarterback is better than either their quarterback, too. I think, is Aiden O'Connell starting? I don't know if who's starting after last week, because they benched Minshew. Uh, I, I do believe you. I do believe they're going with Minshew, from what oh, I've heard. Okay. Well, they are going with good. Minshew. All right, all right. Well, yeah, I'll take the Steelers. Um, free Russ, you know. Right? Yeah. No. Feeling fuck, dangerous? No. no? All Dude, right, all right. Here's the thing. <laughs> Justin Fields has been playing good football. He's he had has, no he no help from his fucking receivers. Last week against the Dallas Where's Cowboys, Pickens? there was two key third down situations where one was dropped by George Pickens, put it right on him, and another was dropped by uh, Cameron Hayward. You need to fuck it. Calvin Austin needs to be more in the game plan. Dude, well. Calvin Austin's Ooh. catch radius is like fucking a circle. You got to put it on him, otherwise he can't fucking catch the ball. Hey, don't make fun of his dinosaur arms. Hey, I'm not saying nothing. I love the guy, but you know how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. He's small. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh Steelers here. The the Vegas Raiders are about a, a loss or two away from going in full tank mode. and We could sell them, too. Is there, like, a another football league, and Mexican football league? Raiders, they're, they're too, dude, you can't sell the Raiders. Uh, yeah, they're, they're too like, fucking stitched in stone. It's like selling the Cubs. Sure, yeah, they're not very be, good, but they're the fucking come on, man. It's wrong. Yeah, you're right. You're it's right. exactly. It's just wrong. You can't. The Steelers spread. You said a three point win at 30, 27 10. That is the exact spread in the line. Look at you. Right on cue with Vegas there. Well, I mean, if there's one thing you I You should know, take the spread win. in the over and just fucking, but, and just, you know, break basically even. I could do awesome. that. Yeah. Anything to say about this one? No, not really. I just the Raiders are a shit show. I think the Steelers are the Steelers are good. Whatever, I'll say it. They're decent. We're I would yeah. say yeah. We're like you're decent. One, a couple notches below good. Yeah, but you're you're getting if Justin Fields can like keep developing, I think it'll be good. But I still think free Russ, man. I think Pickens could use some Russ in his life. Who Pickens can use another receiver in his life because Van Jefferson could... ain't cutting it for number Speaking two. Speaking of the CFL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking call, call up fucking Martavis Bryant. Get his ass back. Pickens, see ya. Dude, come up. Pickens ain't going to no see ya. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not yet. Not yet. Give it a few. Shut years. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I could see it happening because his attitude, but not certainly. I was gonna no. say, yeah. You guys always have these drama wide receivers. It's crazy. Pickens, know, you, you hear little things out of college. He's fine for a couple years, and then it's just, oh my diva diva, like. Bullshit. I don't know, man. Take a lot of risks, but hey, they're talented. All right. Let's go to the Lions Cowboys, America's Ooh. game of the week. Any fucking team really? the Cowboys play is somehow America's game of the week. Every week. You're not wrong. It's America bullshit. loves some Dak. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> America yeah. loves a little Dak. A little huh? Yeah, a little, a little Dak. We will get to that one after these uh, words from our sponsor. So Charles, I'll hit you up in five minutes. Do do do. Sounds good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed those words from our local sponsor. And remember, never.
Fuck, I fucked that one up. Damn it. Fuck. Uh, it happens. One more word from our sponsor, Big Ass Chocolate Bars. If you don't have a pound chocolate bar, fuck are you doing with your life? Okay? Wow. Look at this bad boy. 17 ounces of chocolate right there. Jesus. Is the good, yeah. good chocolate or just regular chocolate? You know what? Let's find out. Oh, shit. Live on the T-Boom talk show. Sure, Charles is going to try out the... Uh, what's that? Is it just called Pound Chocolate Bar? <laughs> this is uh, Trader Joe's. Pound plus chocolate, milk chocolate, people. There you go. Trader J's pound chocolate bar. Takes a full bite. Oh, mm. God, you're going to piss a lot of people off doing that. Mm. <laughs> Taking a fucking That's... just a bite out of it. You don't want to pinch off the square. This is one <laughs> serving. Why would I pinch off a square? This is a it's serving size shock. Some good oh chocolate. Oh, my God, dude. Is it good, though? Get, get to Trader Joe's. Six bucks. Yourself a fucking chocolate bar. Is there any caramel filling mm. or anything, or is it just pure chocolate? This is pure chocolate. This is straight from Belgium. Okay, this is the real shit. There you have it, folks. Trader Jay's pound chocolate bar. Mm, delicious. Oh, Thank that's you, rich. Charles. Good God. That's mm. Awesome. We need to do more food reviews on on our uh, <laughs> random ass fucking yeah, snacks random every ass, time. Everyone bring a snack. There we go. I Y'all... bring something. You bring something, and we'll review it. Next time I go to the fucking mall, we got some uh, Japanese candy box, mystery boxes. You know, bust oh, those guys out. hell yeah. I've Perfect. always wanted to I've always wanted to order one of those little mystery Me snack too. boxes from around the mm-hmm. world. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm. Oh, some good chocolate. There we go. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, moving on, where were we at? That's right. The Lions versus Cowboys game of the week. Lions coming in at three and one. Cowboys coming in at three and two. However, mm. both those losses at home. Ooh. So they have not put a W out there in Dallas quite God. yet. That's weird. Will they be able to do it against the Lions? I'm not so sure, man. This is going to be a very interesting game. Um, I'm not sold on either team. So, Sir Charles, I'm kind of hoping you can sway me. Sway me some way. You know, I get that because the Lions haven't quite looked very Lionsy. I don't know if it's some fucking hangover from that playoff run last year. It tends to happen to those younger teams the first time they get there. They've looked good, but not quite up to their par. I think right now I'll take the Lions simply because who's running the ball for the Dallas Cowboys? Dowd- D- Dowdle. Dowdle? Dowdle? Not buying it. Not buying it one bit. I don't like that. They yeah. said they're saving Zeke. Saving Zeke, number fifteen. Oh, that's shit. just disrespectful. Yeah. That they get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it happens. But no, I'll take I'll take the Lions. Um, especially zero really? two, zero and two at home for the Cowboys. Let's make it zero and three. Okay, Jerry I hope, world. man. Trust Fuck me, I'm Jerry hoping that world. way. But I just don't know, man. This looks well like rested. I win. don't. I like the Lions. I do. This looks like that. This is this is this is what's so funny. It happens every year with the Cowboys. This is going to be that win that puts the propels the media to put the Cowboys into the Super Bowl conversation. Oh, you think so? Oh, gross. Every year it happens. It all fucking week. And then they're going to keep coming back to this game. Well, you know, they beat the Lions, who we think is pretty high. They could win the Super Bowl. This is going to be that game that's going to propel them into that conversation. I can just see it now, Sir Charles. I hope you're wrong. Well, I'm, it happens like every year. Somehow it the does. Cowboys are suddenly this team that if they don't win the Super Bowl, it'd be a fucking miracle. I just, they beat Cleveland, the Giants, and the Pittsburgh Steelers in a nail biter, though. That's who the Cowboys have beaten. Not sold. I don't see it. I'm, I'm, I'm not Lions. sold. You know I'm what? never sold, but I can. I, I don't think the Cowboys get the signature win this year. I think they fall apart down the stretch, more so than regular. I'm talking. Fall out of the playoff picture. Whoa. Whoa. Cowboys aren't making the playoffs. You heard it here well, first. They ain't getting no easy ride to the playoffs this year. The commanders got something to say. That's well, I guess sure. the Eagles are there too, but. Yeah. But yeah. I was say the division's not quite as incompetent though, you know. No, not not at yeah. all. Yeah. So I, I'm going to go Cowboys. I'm just leaning that way. I mean, okay. I just don't see them losing three straight at home. Um, you know, I'm almost about ready to put money on the Cowboys, which I really don't mm. want to do. But that yeah, now gross. that I know that they're 0-2 away, there's no way that they're going to start out 0-3 on the road. Lions are 3-1. and They're going to be more of a 3-2 and team. Yeah, I'm going to go Cowboys. All right, all right, there we go. 
All right. Moving on, we got the Falcons versus the Panthers. This is a game nobody will watch. Nobody will even know it's <laughs> on unless you have fantasy relevance. And Kirk Cousins is going to throw for 474 yards. Yeah. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. No one's going to know this game happened. But yeah, Kirk but. Cousins is just going to have an absurd stat line. <laughs> Like arm on fire celebration. Yeah, like order. fucking get this like, guy the woo! MVP trophy type of performance. But it'll be very quiet. Uh, but the Panthers will somehow win. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah the I Panthers know. will somehow <laughs> squeak it out. Crazy as part about this. <laughs> Some Andy fucking Dalton way they'll make it happen. Through for 537. That's what's really going to shock people. Yeah. No, I'll take the Falcons. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. No, I'll, I'll take the Falcons. <laughs> That's it. Panthers are. I don't shit yeah. show. We don't, I like I how there's know. already trade rumors around Deontay Johnson. Like he's been there for five fucking weeks. Yeah. You guys are already like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should sell. Yeah. Like, let's why, flip why am I here? <laughs> right. So Dude, there's Young talks. Stock. There's talks about Deontay coming back to Pittsburgh. Like what? You know, the, no. It wouldn't be a bad. I mean, you I guys want, could use a receiver like Deontay. I will say no. Trust me. I will say no. I, he's a very talented receiver in terms of his route separation and stuff like that. But it's just a bridge that's been burnt. We can't mm. go back to Deontay Johnson. And everything seems like piece of shit human being on his end too. Like there's nothing good about locker room. It's all just bad, dude. Everything's the film bad. on him. Some sometimes he would literally fumble the ball, and then just kind of like walk away from it as people are trying to recover it. Well, he's upset with himself. He I don't give a, moment, a fuck. Okay? Go for the ball, you dip fuck. He's taking a mental health minute, okay? As yeah, no employer, shit. <laughs> he's legally allowed to health. be a fucking oh, pansy. Fuck. Yeah, no, I agree. That's the kind of shit that just I don't know. Not a winner. I get. Yeah. I hear you. Not right. a not. That's not a dog. That people talk about. Oh, I got no. the dog. You know, a dog would have no. went and fucking fought for his yeah. bone. Yeah, you know, back. you got a poodle in you. You got yeah, a poodle. you got a yeah. little bitch in you. Yep, exactly. Boom. Yeah. Deontay Johnson's a bitch. You heard it here first. Oh, whoa, wait, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Deontay, I am very upset I'm about kidding. some of the decisions you made, but I am also very, very – I admire your route running. I admire your separation you can get from corners. Your attitude and uh, effort, not so much, but, you know. I'm counting on you in a few fantasy leagues, okay? So it's been up and down for me. I hope you understand <laughs> my frustration, Deontay. It wasn't personal. Oh, man. Just catch some fucking balls. would be cool. I Anyways. remember back in the day when Ben Roethlisberger was still our QB. <sighs> Deontay yeah. was the best because he was guaranteed at least 10 points because oh, yeah. you at least get five catches. Yeah. Boom. Five points. Obviously some yards on that. Maybe he gets a TD, you know, but he would yeah. always have 10 catches. For sure. Five no catches. doubt about that. Um. Okay. Moving on to the fucking Ooh. stanky Sunday. What a fucking good. I heard that they were trying to flex this out and CBS said no. Well, oh yeah. CBS is like, you're not putting that shit on my stage. I think. I think CBS had commanders. It was no the game that CBS had was like we're not giving this up. You can yeah you can fuck, fuck no. I think it's, no no it no. was I think it was Commanders Ravens if we're being honest. I think they were trying to flex that. But yeah, you better yeah, no, send Bengals, a couple million Giants. our way, right? Yeah, I tell yeah, the you Bengals what. Bengals Giants man. I mean, this is a weird Sunday night. I don't even know how they predicted this would be a good one in the <laughs> off season. <laughs> That's a good point. You know, like how could you have thought even if the Bengals were the team that. It, even if the Bengals did start off, you know, say four and one, three and two, whatever, yada, yada, yada. It still wouldn't be a good game. No one, I mean, who projected the Giants to be good? No one. I certainly and then, You know, what's really crazy is they have the better record than the Bengals going into this game. That is That's crazy. the fucking nutty part. But and for um, that reason alone is why I'm putting all my money on the Bengals money line. Guys, if you want free money, and I'll say it now. If you want free money this week, this is the game to take a money line. It won't be even money at all, but it is as close to even money as a guarantee is. Please? Take the fucking Bengals money line. They are not going to lose this game. Not no, no fucking way in hell. Malik neighbors. Ooh. Malik neighbors. He's out. Yeah. Yeah. He's out. Um, Official. Can you hear me? My, it's yeah. like my connection's unstable for some reason. Yeah, you went away for a second, but you're good. Okay, sorry about that. No, you're but good. yeah, th this this is the game, man. The Bengals cannot lose another one. They need a win. They're going to be playing their asses off to win, and they're going against the Giants. I just don't see how 
it ends up in the Giants' favor. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's what Vegas wants me to think. But fuck, call me a fool. I mean, I like, I, I agree with you on this. And, uh, you know, I think I like that. I kind of think maybe that should be part of the parlay right there, you know? There's, there's, especially the slack. value. Yeah. I mean, the value of a yeah, fucking. Yeah. For Are sure. Underrated me? there. Absolutely. What? And we got him right now live on FanDuel at negative 198. I like it. That's good yeah. money. That's good money. Did you put, did you put mine in? No, I need to still. All of it on the Bengals. I got you. I got yep. you. I'm putting 50 bucks on it, guys. 50 bucks on the Bengals bones. money line. I'll pop out with what, like 75 probably? Total. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. What? Are, how are we feeling about the pack? I will worry about this. Anyways, okay, Bengals so for we're, sure. We're both on track with the Bengals, right? Good. Absolutely. Okay. Bengals lock. Lock for sure. I think that's probably the safest bet you can make, unless you bet on the Niners. Right. Well, yeah, which, which I, I also we did. did. We did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah of course. <laughs> All right. Oh, ooh, so, Monday. Monday else? night, Bills, Jets. This is a game, a year defining, a a career defining moment for the New York Jets and Aaron Rodgers this Monday night, Bills, Jets. Oh, wow. Talk about career a game defining. you need to win. The Jets, it's not a must win, but you do need to win it. And I don't know if there's a difference between must and need, but I'm going to use it right here. A little bit. Need is like, if, if we don't win this, we're done. We're not playing another game. Must win is like, if we want hope, because, you know, hope is optional, okay? I know right? a lot of people wake up every morning, no hope. You know, it's just there's people that, that that's how they live their life. <laughs> that's um, how they live So their I think life. it's a must. I think it's a must win. I don't know if it's a need, need to win. Because they will play next week, whether they want to or not, if they lose this game. So... It's called a must win. Um, I, I don't think they will win. I'll tell you that right now. They just fired the coach. You think you're going to be fired up? What you hear what uh, Sauce Gardner said? We're still doing it for Sala, which oh, is probably God. not what you want to hear from your players after you just fired your head coach and had him not fucking hauled out, hauled out of the building. Like, oh no, oh fuck, that's they're doing should... it for Sala. They're still playing for, and that's not good because look what they've been doing so far for the man. It's not great. Um, until they get Devontae, which just sounds like maybe it might happen Monday or Tuesday. The Steelers are ramping up talk. Same with the Jets. It's picking up traction, baby. Devontae rumors. I'm taking the Bills. Aaron Rodgers should have retired. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Rodgers, midway through last week, he's thinking about it. He was like, why am I here? Do I want to be here? You could tell on the Pat McAfee show, he's done. You don't want to be here. Yeah. Retire. Go fucking drink ayahuasca in the dark, man. It's okay. Well, you're fucking forty. I know, dude. You're forty. You're fucking forty. Like, I'm that's trying. Gross. I'm trying to convince myself a way of how the Jets end up winning this, and I think it's going to have to come down to defense. If Sauce it, yeah. is really feeling that way about doing it for Robert Sala, maybe they're motivated. Maybe for the wrong reasons, <laughs> obviously, but they are motivated. He maybe he meant it in a totally different way, and he's just going to get burnt all game and be like, "That was for Sala." That was for Sala, oh, as in that was game. for proving him wrong because he fucked us. Do, 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 do. Probably not, though. No. So, Charles? Oh, no. Oh! There we go. I was hey, going to say, that's bullshit. I was going to say, that was crazy. I knew it was a bad freeze when I the British accent didn't get through to you. You're still frozen. Oh, shit. Okay. No, I'm here. All right. Okay. We we're, were talking about uh, Robert, maybe Sauce Gardner. Sauce, yeah, was doing it for Sala. Sala was a piece of shit, so he's motivated to say, hey, we're he doing it for Sala get... to show him that he's a piece of shit coach. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe he said, I'm going to do this for Salah, and he's just going to get burnt. I mean, just, like, give up three tutties. Be like, that's for you, Salah. Good riddance. Yeah. But that I don't know why you'd slander your own name, but you never know. I mean, Keon Coleman, there's one guy that's going to burn Sauce Gardner this year. It's Keon Coleman. I yeah. Mean, we all yeah. know that. Said no, no. one ever. Um, no. I'm going to go. Dude, give me the Jets. I'm in an upset Ooh, mood this week. Give me the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. That's okay. I think you know what the winner of this game gets Devonte Adams. How about that? I want news to break after this game. Like whoever wins gets him. Devonte's like, I want you guys to play for me. Cause him on the that Bills, I'm that, telling hey, you, that, that's that the best would be. Spot. That's good. Rogers is going out there slinging that thing if he gets Devonte with the win. Oh, for sure. 
for Ooh. sure. He's throwing it to himself. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers just ran 40 yards and caught yeah. his own pass. He broke his broke his record of receiving yards this <laughs> day. Yeah, I'm going to go Jets, hip. man. I'm in an upset mood. Fuck oh, it. Crazy. All right, all right. Fuck it, Jets. I'll take the Bills, especially at negative 136. Oh, give me the Bills. Okay. Yeah. So we got through all the games. We're going to do yeah. – we're going to create a – we're going to live – fucking create we're gonna bounce fucking ideas off each other like ping pong balls see what i'm saying i like and it. we're gonna come up with three leg parlay for you guys um since we got through all the games i'm gonna crack open my first beer of the day shout out there you go give me a second i'm gonna do things off camera just just off camera though my head's just gonna be over here for a minute uh, no, no, no. Today's episode of the Team of Clock Show is brought to you by Schilling Cider, Excelsior, Imperial Ooh, Mango. A cider? Okay. I was a big pineapple cider guy in my drinking days. So I yeah. like cider. Ciders are solid. A lot of people hated on them. I was like, dude, give me, you know what? If I'm day drinking, give me some fucking ciders. Baby. Yeah, I don't want to fucking, fucking taste yeah. piss water for 12 hours. No, I don't, exactly. You know what? I'm still like trying to cook some decent food. I want something to taste. I'm still trying to, it's 11 a.m. This is close to juice. Like, fuck it off, people. Yeah, this is as close you to know? juice. It's that's, practically that's OJ. Attitude. It's OJ. Well, we got to be careful with OJ, though. OJ will kill you. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to OJ, by the way. Oh, yeah, he will. He will. will. (laughs) That was way over my head. (laughs) Okay, so let's build this parlay. I think me and you both are kind of obviously on agreement with the Bengals, right? I was going to say the one leg I've got in there just automatically is the Bengals. Sitting at a uh, a minus 195 fucking money line ain't too shabby. (laughs) Not at all. The other one I'm looking at, dude... Call me crazy, call me nuts, but this fucking Jaguars game, dude, I'm almost positive they're going to beat the Bears. I I don't hate it. I feel you on that. It's well, You know what's weird? Is this is a home game for the Bears, technically. Isn't that bullshit? I'd be fucking so pissed. stupid. <laughs> God, I like hey, the Eagles. Shout out to a- having uh, uh being fans of franchises that are just so established and so good. They don't even bother sending him out of the fucking. You <laughs> no know. shit, huh? You think they're like the Chiefs want to go to, and they're like, never mind. We're not even gonna ask them. Let's no. just leave them here. Like, <laughs> no, maybe they want to spend a home game in London. No, no. that's you know, why I was so shocked like, when they sent the Eagles and Packers. Right, to I was. Brazil. I thought so too, but I think it was like their first South American. They're trying to make a statement. You know what I mean? Like this is our yeah. first game in this continent. We're gonna give you something good. Yeah, so. we're gonna give you. Yeah, I, I respect that. Uh, um. What else do we like? I mean, fuck, man. I like the Browns at plus eight and a half at negative one ten. I do like that too, but man, the Browns can very. I know it's still the Browns Browns getting whooped. They could, they could. I mean, the Falcons are two sixty, but it is a parlay. Mm, How are you feeling about this Chargers team? I like the Chargers. I do. I mean, I think that's a win. The Broncos have obviously been on a little upset streak here, but no, this team's. Coaching's too good. Trust me. I know this man. He coached the Niners for years. It's, oh yeah, you you yeah, gonna... big, you're a big uh-huh. Jim Harbaugh. Big. I, I was just saying, was very upset when he left. Very upset. It's worked out with Shanahan. Thank God. But uh, no, I like it. I think um, take that. You know, fuck. If you want a player prop, throw the Dobbins over in there. The motherfuckers gonna run. But no, I like that. If you put the fucking Chargers, the Bengals, and the Jags together, we're looking at a ten leg at plus three sixty four. I mean, that's not bad. What the fuck? No, that's that's just too big of a fucking. That wouldn't even really do much. Oh my god! How about we do two? We'll do two parlays. First one, I I like the jet. If you like the Jags, I don't want to fucking take up. You know, I like the Jags I, to win. I really we do. can. I like the Jags. I'm not against the Jags. I got no problem with the Jags. Okay. okay. So for one of them, we'll do the Jags, the Bengals. And then the uh, Chargers, Jags, Bengals, Chargers. Do you like yeah, that? I like, I like, I like that. We got Jags, Bengals, Chargers plus three sixty four right here. That's gonna be our money maker. Yeah, I'm gonna say I like it. I like it. You know. Now let's give odds. them one. Let's for the fans, just for the fans, one that's a guaranteed, not super profitable, but a fucking. But lo- like, you're gonna lo- lock that motherfucker in. Uh, okay, I like that. 
Okay, so okay, let's see. What do we got? I'm we got? almost certain that the Falcons are going to beat the Panthers. I mean, they they better. That's that's all we have to say. Are you comfortable well, throwing that in there? I think, if, you know, if I could get this fucking page to load, I would love to throw it in there. Fucking FanDuel, your website's shit. Don't make me get my phone here. Jesus. It, it froze on me. You got a bad website here. This is what fucking bullshit. Don't make me log into DraftKings, guys. You don't you don't want that live log into DraftKings. Boom. All right, we're back. Where are we? Boom. Here we go. Falcons, Falcons, Falcons. All right, we're in business. Falcons definitely win. I think the odds are something crazy. Negative 260. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Do they win by a touchdown? It's the Panthers. That's the fucking spread. God, God. We're playing it safe here. We're playing it safe. Forget yeah, the let's just play it Never safe, mind. man. Because something, I'm almost shaky. When I said guaranteed, something told me, hey, Falcons may lose oh, this one. It's not a primetime game, but Kirk's been better in primetime. Okay, let's let's go Falcons. Yep. I, I think Bengals we should still keep in there. That's a guarantee. You got it. That's that's the pick, especially yeah, yeah. you gotta keep that in there. Bengals, Falcons. I mean the fucking Eagles, but e- I negative, was gonna say, yep, Eagles, Eagles. Fucking for... negative four hundred. But even though I picked the I did I pick the Brown? No, I took the Eagles. Yeah. Eagles. What's that put us at? That puts us at three legged at plus one fifty nine. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of odds. shitty for a parlay. But Three it's a money lines, yeah, it is. You know, I feel I like it. Do you do you like it? Do you want to add it? I like it. Okay. I like it. I don't love the odds, but what are you gonna do? I really, I, I know, I really wish to see it plus two hundred at least. I, yeah, right. But you don't always get that. No. Life, you know. What if we throw in the Texas money lemons. line? I'm oh. pretty positive. I th- I think the Patriots have a shot. That's why I picked the Patriots. But I think they're probably going to win. Throw the Texans in there at negative. Now we're sitting at plus two forty six. Now we're in business. You got four games. But I mean, who's going to lose? Are you? You're not telling me the Patriots, the Browns, the Giants, or the Panthers win. You can't look at me straight. You know, in the eyes and tell me any of those four teams win. No, you, you can't. can't. No, I don't care if you're a fan. That's a good way to put it. Tell me that these other teams are going to win. Exactly. You can't look me in the eyes. Yeah. Tell, no. And that's if that's a good – I'm not – you know, it doesn't always happen, people. You know, it's gambling. You know, right. only bet what you can afford to lose. So just, you know, whatever you make monthly, half of that is your gambling limit for today. Plus okay? 100. Plus 100. And I'm talking gross. <laughs> Fuck those taxes. We don't We do not do taxes in our calculations. They're, we don't do taxes, people. I wouldn't even – I, I just have to pay them, but we don't act like that counts. So this way you're actually spending more of your money, you know, do it based on gross. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so there we have it. So this. let's go through the first parlay just to recap. All right. We got the, oh shit. Where do we go? We got the Bengals. Where are we at? It was 346. We got the Bengals, it. the Chargers. Yeah, Chargers. And the, and the uh, Jaguars, Jaguars. Plus 364. Then for our other one, our guarantee, we got the Bengals. Falcons, um, Texans, no, Texans Eagles. Eagles. Yep. Okay. Oh, all right. We got the Bengals in both. So fuck it. Giants, I swear to God. I'm all not right. far. I'll drive to MetLife. Don't fucking win this game. Do it, dude. Fuck yeah. Well, it wasn't easy, folks, but we fucking got through it. We gave you two fucking good parlays to have some fun over tomorrow. We went through every single game. You know, not everyone in great detail, but we gave you guys a good uh, a good heads up about what you know what you may see or what you you may not see. And uh, no, I think this is a good podcast. I think is very very good Try for the some fans. Chocolate? I mean, shit, chocolate, man. Get to Trader Joe's. Pounder man. chocolate at Pound Trader of Joe's. Chocolate. Ooh. I mean, that's what, what do you need for football Sunday? Pound chocolate bar. Pound of chocolate. You're gonna need it either way to celebrate or to fucking eat your sorrows away. Yep. So either way, you're gonna feel fucking great. You thought a hangover was bad. Eat a pound of chocolate <laughs> on Sunday. Wake <laughs> up and go to work. Oh, I didn't even get drunk Profit. last night. Yeah. I'm fucked up. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. All right, no. Sir Charles, man. It's a blessing every time we have you over here. Thank you for showing Absolutely. up, for giving us a lot of your time. Um. Thank you for tuning in. If you do, uh, drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us you hate us. Tell us you love us. 
who knows but Boom. until next time folks we'll see you later at the t bloom talk show i'm t bloom your host that's my co-host sir charles signing out. out stay on stay on stay on